These right here are complementary shaders for Minecraft 1.21.1. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install these shaders and how to fix any issues you might have along the way. The only thing that I ask in return is that you subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to get complementary shaders is to click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install these shaders. If you don't want to read through the whole guide, however, just scroll down to step one and click download. That is going to redirect you over here, where within the files tab, we're going to download the 1.21.1 version. To do that, just click on these three dots and click download file. And just after five seconds, your download will begin. And obviously, while this file downloads, you have to make a server using Apex Hosting. If you use that first link in the description, you could create your first server with 25% off. These servers could have over 200 mod packs that you could install with just a click of a button. They could be Java or Bedrock servers. These servers will be hosted online, so you don't have to worry about port forwarding, keeping your computer on or anything like that. And also, they have locations all around the world, so you don't have to think about lagging at any moment. Something that I personally love about Apex Hosting is that besides creating the server, you could also access the server console through your phone. So you could create the server on your phone, you could access the server console on your phone and you could change all the settings and kick people out, do whatever you want in your server through your phone. I'm going to leave that first link in the description for you to create a server whenever you need with Apex Hosting and get 25% off. Now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now our file already downloaded and I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. As you can see, I already went ahead and drag and drop it into here. You can find that file in your recent download history or within your downloads folder in your computer. Now at this point, these are the complementary unbound shaders. If you already have some type of shader loaders like Optifine or Iris, just go ahead and add these shaders into your shader packs folder, which I'm assuming you already know how to do if you already have some type of shader loader. Now I'm assuming most of you don't have a shader loader and that's why you're watching this video. So for the next step, we're going to install Iris shaders, which is the shader loader that is going to allow us to use complementary unbound shaders. Now to install Iris shaders, click on the third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to install Iris. But if you don't want to read through the whole thing, just scroll down to step one, click download Iris here. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to hit download now. And then over here, you're going to hit download universal jar, which will be in the download for the Iris installer immediately and just like we did before, we're going to go ahead and place this file into our desktop. As you can see, Iris installer right here. You could also just drag and drop it from your browser into the desktop. Now, these are really the only two files that we need to add shaders or complementary unbound shaders into our Minecraft. To do so, make sure you have closed Minecraft 1.21.1 and the Minecraft launcher completely from your computer. Once you've done that, I want you to go ahead and right click on the Iris installer click open with and hit Java. That is going to open the Iris installer, which is going to look like this. And 1.21.1 should be selected automatically. If that's not the case, just scroll down through the list until you find it. Now, the only reason or the only issue that you could have when trying to open the Iris installer is that you don't have Java in your computer, which I'm going to show you how to fix in a bit. But if you were able to open the installer, just go ahead and hit install. Now, if you weren't able to open the installer, again, you're going to need Java 21. The thing is that after the update 1.20.5 for Minecraft, Java 21 is now needed for, like I said, any jar file or any modding or any shaders that you add, creating a server, anything really relating to modding Minecraft or adding shaders will require Java 21. So I'm going to leave this guide in the description. It's going to be the fourth link on how to install Java 21. You just download it and then you just hit next a couple of times and you will install it. And sometimes you might have to get rid of your older Java instances. You just go to search, add or remove programs, and then delete the older Javas if you're still having issues. Anyways, now that we installed Java 21 and we're able to open Iris and Sodium and we install it, we could go ahead and close out from the installer. And guess what? You could even delete the Iris installer as you don't need it anymore. The next step is to add the shaders into the Minecraft game. To do so, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. Now, once we open the Minecraft launcher, if we install Iris properly, it should be selected here automatically. As you can see, 1.21.1 is here. However, if that's not the case for you, you're going to head over to installations and you're going to make sure you select modded in here. As you can see, without modded selected, you actually won't see Iris in here. And if you still can't see Iris after you select modded, just click on new installation, name this whatever you want, like for example, Apex Hosting, since that will give you 25% off using that first link in the description. And then on version, you're going to search for Iris just like this. And and then you're going to select the 1.21.1 version and then you can change the settings in here however you please and then click create here on the bottom right and that will actually add an instance of iris for you in here now no matter how you found iris maybe you added it yourself in here or it was already here when you install it go ahead and launch it you could launch it through the installations or through the play button in here just hit play it might give you a little prompt in here saying are you sure you want to play modern minecraft just click that yes you understand and then hit play again and wait for iris to open now once minecraft opens it's time to add the shaders and to do that i want you to go ahead and open a world it could be a single player or a multiplayer world because shaders will work on multiplayer games since iris shaders is a client side mod again if you need a multiplayer server use that first link in the description create a server with 25 percent off and what other better platform than apex hosting to do so right anyways once in the world as you can see i already have shaders on but i'm actually gonna go ahead and turn them off and if you're wondering how i did that i just did it by pressing the letter k on my keyboard that actually turns off the shaders anyways once in the world to add complementary shaders we're gonna go ahead and press escape head over to options 
click on video settings and then in here you're gonna see this menu has changed and you're going to click on shader packs now as you can see i have a bunch of options in here but most likely for you guys you won't see any of this yeah this is gonna be empty so i'm gonna show you how to add complementary to add complementary you're gonna click where it says open shader pack folder here on the bottom that is going to open a folder that most likely will be empty for most of you as a matter of fact i'm actually gonna go ahead and delete all my shaders from here this is probably what it's going to look like for you making the game also be empty in here now to add the shaders all we have to do guys is minimize the game don't close it just minimize it and then go ahead and drag and drop complementary and bound the zip file that we downloaded in the first step into this folder the shader packs folder now head back into the game and as you can see you will see complementary and bound here this is the shader that we just downloaded and added into our shader packs folder just select it in here hit apply and then give it a couple seconds for it to load as this will take more or less depending on your computer click on done once it loaded done done back to the game and as you can see you now have complementary shaders again these are one of the most beautiful shaders in my opinion for minecraft i went ahead and set the game to daytimes just so you could appreciate how beautiful these shaders are and it's super super easy to install you could always access a shader pack menu by pressing o on your keyboard like this and you could always disable the shaders by pressing k and you could obviously enable them back on by pressing k as well just give it a couple seconds after you press k because sometimes it takes a little bit longer to uh, load anyways that is pretty much how to download and install complementary shaders for minecraft 1.21.1 if this video helped you don't forget to subscribe that's all i ask in return and as always bye bye